Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 4 Stricken April 17, 2006 From the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord, spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God, This world is stricken, a corrupt tree which bears bitter fruit filled with poison. Great wailing is heard in all the earth, a most bitter weeping. My children cry out at noonday, and the tears of the innocent do not cease. You have done this, O peoples of the earth. You have done this, O men of power and wealth, all you people of excess. You have done this, for by the hardness of your hearts you have committed murder. For the sake of greed, to fulfill your insatiable appetites and your ever-increasing lusts, you have destroyed the garden. Cut down the tree and burn the branches. Break apart the stump and pull up the roots. For thus declares the Lord, This is my earth, and these are my children. I shall feed them. And you, O oh, most wicked generation, shall starve. For as you have sown, so shall you reap. And that which you have withheld from the poor and the needy shall be taken from you, and you shall suffer. Behold, even all you have wrought in the earth shall return atop your own heads. For I shall strike you down and lay you waste, desolation upon desolation, calamity upon calamity plagues, and famine, until the earth has utterly consumed you. For thus says the Lord to the generation of his wrath, As a lion springs forth suddenly from its hiding place and lays hold on the prey, so shall I break the neck of this generation and drag it away, until every last remnant of your wickedness is devoured. Behold, you shall be broken without hand, and the wickedness which dwells in the midst of you shall be torn in pieces. For I am risen up in my anger, I am come forth in my fury. Behold, I am coming quickly in great power and glory. And who among the nations shall deliver you from the mouth of the lion? Who among the mighty and proud shall be able to overcome even the least of these I am sending? For I am the Lord. Therefore, let every way crack and every foundation crumble. Let the earth give way. Let the high places fall with a great crash. And let every false image perish before the great and awesome power of the Lord. See, your wealth has come to nothing, O peoples of the earth. For as it is written, your wealth shall rot away. Your fine clothes shall be eaten by moths. Your gold and silver shall become worthless, and shall be for a witness against you in the day of wrath, and shall eat your flesh like fire. Thus all the treasure which you have heaped up against the day shall bury you. Behold, your power is corrupt, of no use at all. It shall consume you, for you are most perverse, a whole generation of deceitful peoples. Behold, the eyes of the Lord have seen it, the ears of the Lord have heard it. My people are afflicted, and my faithful ones are persecuted, imprisoned, and put to death. My little ones are brought to harm, and the innocent are murdered in droves, cast off as refuse. Therefore, the afflicted shall be given wealth beyond imagining, and the meek shall inherit the earth. The little ones shall be taken, and the innocent shall return home, and they shall be my sons and daughters forever, life without end. Yet you, O most wicked generation, shall be cast off. I shall cast you out of my sight, and you shall remain outside the gates. For I do not know you, 
says the Lord. There shall be great wailing and gnashing of teeth. Therefore, thus says the Lord to the hard-hearted, to every servant of Satan, to all who have joined themselves to this world. Kneel! Kneel before the Lord of hosts! Kneel before your Maker! Kneel before the Holy One of Israel, and kiss the Son! For in Christ alone is your salvation, in Messiah alone is their deliverance in the day of wrath. Yes, he who is called Jesus and Christ is the Messiah, your only escape. Yahushua is the Lamb. Behold, he is also the Lion. Yet you will forsake him in the name of another. You shall embrace the impostor and bow down before the image of the destroyer of flesh. Did you think, O oh, you wicked, that the man of perdition could save you from the day of wrath? Did you think you could escape the day of judgment, which I pronounced from the beginning? You are deceived, even as he is deceived. For the reign of wickedness shall be abolished. Every form of evil shall be blotted out. The wicked removed, evil found no more in remembrance. Stricken, blotted out, extinguished in the lake of my burning heart. Yet first you shall kneel, yes, you shall kneel, even as he whom you have worshipped in vain shall kneel, before the majesty of him called the Nazarene. For the earth shall be filled with his glory and every knee shall bow to him, on earth, under the earth, and those in heaven. Yea, all shall be brought into subjection before the king. For thus says the Lord, Behold, my heart is set ablaze in my anger, and my countenance burns like a raging fire. My sadness is infinite. The weight of unending sorrow covers me. For as I live, says the Lord, I take no pleasure in the destruction of the wicked, but call all in the earth to repent, to turn from their evil ways, and return to me. O oh, peoples of the earth, do you not know the fury of the Lord has come, and is coming quickly? Yet greater still is the love and mercy of God, fulfilled in the Son of Man. He who was sent to you already. Therefore hear the word of the Lord. Call upon the name. Embrace the salvation of God. And live. Therefore hear the word of the Son of the Most Holy. The only begotten of the Father. The express image of the invisible God. For thus says the Holy One of Israel. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word, which I am, the very same as God, by whom all these worlds are and were created. For the Father and the Son are one. Even you were created in the image of God, vessels, temples of my spirit. Yet you have desecrated the temple, and cease not from corrupting even all I have given you by which you have also condemned yourselves. For you say, God shall not destroy us. We have neither heard him nor seen him. He only exists in the minds of men and in the pages of books. Oh, how great is the pride and arrogance of man, binding cords which drag him down to death, a noose which continually tightens as he struggles to maintain his own way. For as it was, and is written, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And because they have rejected knowledge, I must also reject them. In all their forsaking of me are they taken away. On account of their pride they reject me. And in their arrogance do they hold fast to their own way, treading the wide path. Therefore are the walls of Jerusalem broken down. Thus is the vineyard of the Lord 
Tread down! Behold, the vats overflow! Every vessel is tipped! All new wine evaporates in the fire! And still, my people are not saved. Beloved children, do you not know the power and mercies of God? I am that power through which God has shown his mercy. Beaten, mocked, bruised, scourged and nailed to the cross for your transgressions. Stricken by God, pierced and buried. Risen to life after three days and three nights. That by my life you may be healed. For my mercies endure forever for all who accept and partake of my mercies. For these shall live by faith, and by no means shall their life be taken from them. And though they fall asleep, I shall surely revive them, and they shall abide in the light of the Lord forever. Foolish children, I was sent to redeem you, to restore you to life, to show you the way. Yet you forbear, and cast me off as a cord which binds you. Do you not understand? I have broken every cord. I have freed you from every chain which holds you captive. And yet you say, cast these cords from us? O oh, dead and dying generation, you have forsaken life. You shall surely die. Your fate is sealed and this at your own hand. For according to all your evil works, which you have committed without reservation, and according to your great arrogance, in where you have rejected the truth, and turned your backs on the way, forsaking the life, so shall it be done to you. For there is no other, nor any other way found, by which you may enter into the love and mercy of God. One son, given up for many, one way to sanctification and life, life without end. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Therefore, embrace me now, lest you remain and drink of the wine of the wrath of God which has poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. For I tell you the truth, judgment and darkness shall reign seven days. Then the consummation. Behold, the birth of a new day, even one thousand years. Peace.